What's up guys, welcome back to Capture by Shan17. Today we're going to be looking at the latest flagship from Samsung and thank you Samsung South Africa for sending us through. So yeah, let's take a look at the S21 5G and let's get right in there. So as you can see, the box itself has shrunk quite a bit all the way around due to the way tech companies are now, you know, looking at uh, managing waste and, you know, that's the way they're phrasing it. So that's obviously something to consider. You're going to probably have to buy a charging brick if you do not have a USB-C to USB-C charging cable. And as you can see, we are greeted by the device right away. And obviously, you know, 2021, things are going to get a lot more simple with phone manufacturers. And this is that crazy color. So the device I have is the 256 gigabyte, 8 gigabyte RAM, and it is the Phantom Violet. Um, Samsung came up with the new um, color scheme this year with Phantom Black, Phantom Violet, Phantom Silver. And yeah, this is really nice, and you can nice little peel. Get the camera bump. So this is quite a, a new design, you know, in the, the tech space. You don't see many phones with this camera bump. I don't think any phone has actually adopted this. So Samsung are kind of changing the game for themselves. And I like the matte finish at the back. Obviously, the S21 is the smaller of the three, you know, S21 series phones. And let's get the screen as well. And yeah, obviously greeted right away with the Infinity O display, um, nice matte back finish. Um, you know, you don't get many fingerprints, as you can see here. Uh, really nice color, and I like the kind of the color blocking. You know, it, it really brings attention to the design of the phone, and I think some phones have kind of lost that over the years, and I think Samsung have really focused on bringing it back with this new device. So let's put this down for a second and stray further into the box um, you know, keeping it really simple one small little box attached and all you get is your USB-C to USB-C cable and you get some paperwork as well so a quick guide and that's all you get um, would I have liked to have seen a charging cable I think for another two um, two years I think I probably would have wanted to see a charging brick included but Obviously, Samsung have their reasons for that. Um, I just think not many people actually have USB-C to USB-C charging bricks. A lot of us have the USB-A charging brick. So unless you've bought a phone in the last year or so, you're probably going to have to buy a new charging brick if you pick up the S21. So let's power this on. And OK, so here we have the Samsung S21 5G. Loving the texture on the back now that it's kind of a matte finish. And the camera bump definitely sets, you know, sets it apart from, from its competition. Um, we still have the Infinity O display, 1080 by 2400. Um, it does come with a pre-installed screen protector, which I really appreciate. And it does have the Corning Gorilla Glass Victus. Um, a few other notable specs that, you know, the kind of have, you know, really separated Samsung from some of the Android um, market is is the attention to video and photo specs. So if you go through the, the camera, you have a 12 megapixel wide, 64 megapixel telephoto, and you have a 12 megapixel ultra wide. So they're really focusing on, you know, content creation. I think that's, especially with, you know, COVID, that's where most people have, you know, kind of straight off to. Um, you get 8K video, which is, you know, kind of unheard of. And you have 4K 60 on a cell phone, which is ridiculous. Um, and you can do 720p. You can do 960 frames per second. So there's a lot of you know features that they paid attention to. Um, I'm going to have this phone for the next month or so, so I can really put it through its paces. But yeah, that's just um, first impressions. Really love the feel, love the look. Um, there is a bit of a chin at the bottom, like slightly, but nothing too too hectic. Um, but yeah, I really like the way the, the phone feels in hand. It's a nice weight. 
obviously the infinity o at the top doesn't really bother me anymore there is no there is no expandable storage anymore so if you are into that kind of thing you will be slightly disappointed but coming in with a new chip um i think it's definitely uh, something that we need to look at as a serious competitor to some of the bigger phones out there even for the S20 Ultra this phone packs a big punch you have the power button over here and your volume button so that's quite you know something to get used to but um yeah obviously over time you will get used to these things that's it for me guys so make sure you hit that subscribe button for more s21 content coming up this month and if you want me to look at something specific make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below